nak awak yang tu lah jangan lupa subscribe channel kita tanda sokongan terima kasih Hai Assalamualaikum jom kita revise sambil berehat sambil berehat pun kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone apa tunggu lagi jom kita mula Ok guys, dalam video kali ini kita akan tengok berkaitan dengan uniform circular motion in vertical plane. Kita akan tengok tiga contoh berkaitan dengan motion in vertical plane. The first one is a ball is swung in vertical circle. Ok, contohnya dalam gambar ini you ada tali and then you ada mass of the object and then the object will rotate in a circular motion. And the position of the object will be at the top and at the bottom of the circle. Let's try to draw the free body diagram on the object. We start with the bottom part. So now let's draw the direction of the centripetal acceleration. Remember, when the object is moving in a circular path, the direction of the centripetal acceleration always directed to the center. Okay? And then look at the position of the object at the bottom of the circle. So the first force that we have on the object is tension. Sebab ada tali. So kita labelkan the first force is tension and the direction is upward. And the second force is the weight of the object. Okay? Where the direction of the weight is downward. So now let's write the equation when the object is at the bottom of the circle. So as usual, we write total FC equal to MAC. And then look at the free body diagram. Okay, force apa yang sama direction dengan AC? Dah tentunya adalah tension. Okay, so since the direction of tension is equal to the direction of AC, so kita akan tulis dalam equation kita, T adalah positive value plus negative W since the direction of W is opposite direction with the direction of centripetal acceleration. Dan kita rearrange the equation, kita akan dapat satu equation berkaitan dengan tension of the string when the object is at the bottom of the circle equal to mv squared over r plus mg. So at this point we can say that the tension of the string is maximum. Okay? So now let's sketch the direction of all the forces when the object is at the top of the circle. So kita lukis dulu small arrow yang menunjukkan direction of centripetal acceleration always directed to the center of the circle. Kemudian kita lukis arrow tension mesti keluar daripada objek, outward from the objek. So direction of T must be downward. Okay? Dan dalam masa yang sama jangan lupa objek itu ada weight and the direction of weight always directed downward. So bila kita dah lukis all the forces, we can see here that direction of T and W are the same direction as AC. Jadi bila W dan T sama arah dengan AC, so kita boleh tulis dalam equation kita di mana nilai W dan T is positive value. Okay, so let's start. Total FC equal to MAC. So in this case, the direction of W and T is the same direction as AC, right? So T dan W ambil positive value. Okay, ini paling penting. Jangan salah positif dan negatif. So, T plus W equal to MV squared over R. Rearrange the equation. You akan dapat equation untuk T when the object is at the top of the circle. So, T is equal to MV squared over R minus MG. So, what we can say. So, when the object is at the top of a vertical circle. So, the value of, so the tension of the string is minimum. Okay? So, equation ini kena ingat, kena tahu bagaimana equation ini boleh terbentuk dan kena faham bagaimana untuk melukis free body diagram dengan betul. Okay, seterusnya kita beralih kepada kes yang kedua iaitu Ferris wheel. Jadi, bila cerita pasal Ferris wheel, mesti teringat fun fair kan? Pernah naik ke? So, now look at this diagram. Let's say dekat sini kita ada seorang budak namanya Ravi. Okay, Ravi naik Ferris wheel. 
So before that, let's sketch the direction of the centripetal acceleration. So the direction of the centripetal acceleration always directed to the center. So same as before, in uniform circular motion which is vertical plane, so we will focus at the top and at the bottom of the motion. Okay, sekarang kita akan mulakan dengan bahagian top of the Ferris wheel. Okay, so make sure you draw all the forces. So kita akan ada wake which is equal to mg and the direction is downward. And then we're going to have normal force sebab Ravi duduk di atas seat Ferris wheel tersebut. So the direction of the normal force must be upward direction. Okay. So, bila kita tengok pada bahagian top of the Ferris wheel, so we can see here that the direction of W is the same direction as centripetal acceleration. So, bila kita tulis equation total Fc equal to MAC, W is positive value plus negative N. Okay, jangan terbalik. Tengok direction W at the top of the Ferris wheel, direction W yang sama dengan direction of centripetal acceleration. So, kita kena pastikan that W is positive value and normal force is negative value since the direction of the normal force is opposite direction with AC. Okay? And finally, we're going to have equation of N equal to W minus MV squared over R. And when the person at the top of the Ferris wheel, we can see that the normal force is minimum. Sekarang kita tengok pula bila Ravi berada at the bottom of the Ferris wheel. Okay, so you must draw all the forces. So kita ada weight direction dia downward and normal force direction dia upward. Jadi bila Ravi berada dekat bahagian bawah of the Ferris wheel, so kita boleh lihat that the direction of the normal force kali ini same direction dengan centripetal acceleration. Jadi bila kita hendak tulis equation total Fc equal to MAC, nilai N is positive since direction of N dengan AC is the same direction when the person at the bottom of the Ferris wheel. Okay. So, W pula yang akan jadi negative because direction of W is downward tetapi direction of AC is upward. So, kita akan tulis total FC. So, total net force yang ada adalah N plus negative W equal to MV squared over R. That's why N equal to W plus MV squared over R And at this position, which is at the bottom of the Ferris wheel, the normal force is maximum. Okay, jadi awak semua mesti tahu bagaimana untuk tulis kedua-dua equation ini dengan betul. Dan contoh yang terakhir dalam vertical plane ini adalah berkaitan dengan roller coaster ataupun motorcycle on circular track. Jadi seperti yang ditunjukkan dalam contoh di bawah, kita ada motorcycle on a circular track. So let's say the position of the motorcycle at the top of the track. So sekarang kita nak tulis equation dengan betul. Tapi sebelum tu kita mesti lukis dengan betul dahulu free body diagram of the object when at the top of the circular path. Jadi force yang pertama sudah tentunya normal force. Okay, since kita nampak okay, ada contact between the surface of the track and the motorcycle. So, the normal force is downward. Boleh? Dan yang kedua adalah weight. So, the direction of weight always downward. Jadi, untuk kes ini kita ada dua daya di mana arahnya adalah ke bawah. Dan dalam masa yang sama, kalau kita lukiskan direction of centripetal acceleration kita, so at the top of the track, the direction of the centripetal acceleration is always directed to the center. Okay? Jadi dekat sini kita boleh lihat direction of W and normal force is the same direction as AC. Jadi kita boleh tulis dalam equation total Fc equal to MAC di mana total force that provided the centripetal force untuk orang tersebut bergerak in a circular path is W and normal force. So disebabkan kedua-dua itu sama arah. So W is positive plus positive N equal to MV squared over R. 
Okay, so when we rearrange the equation, kita boleh dapat equation normal force is equal to mv squared over r minus mg. Now we move to the second position which is at the bottom of the track. Okay, so let's draw the free body diagram first. So we're going to have normal force which is upward this time and then kita akan ada weight. The direction is downward. Okay, and kita lukis small arrow to show the direction of the centripetal acceleration which is towards to the center. Alright, so based on this free body diagram, kita boleh lihat that the direction of the normal force same direction dengan AC. Jadi dalam equation, normal force yang akan jadi positif, W yang akan jadi negatif. So let's write the equation. Total LC equal to MAC. So kita ada dua saja force. Okay, in Y component, kita ada normal and W but normal force is the same direction with AC so N akan jadi positive plus negative W because W is opposite direction dengan AC. Okay, so N minus W equal to MV squared over R. So rearrange the equation, you akan dapat N equal to MV squared over R plus MG. Okay. Jadi itu saja untuk video kali ini dan kita telah revise semua perkara penting dalam chapter 6 dan semoga kita jumpa lagi dalam next video untuk bincang beberapa lagi soalan. Okey, jangan lupa untuk like, share and subscribe channel Madam Fika Fiki dan semoga kita jumpa lagi dalam next video. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Jumpa lagi. Bye-bye.